Hello, my sweet friends. How are you doing? This time we're gonna make something and open a spotlight. You can move it around as you wish, and you can just throw it as a child of the focal distance and not on the canvas. Click again on the material, give it a color, or just do your tips and tricks. We're gonna put this on add, so we have the light in that green, we just choose, and now we can zoom in and out the light. You get the idea. We can go and animate it real fast by clicking on animate spin, and we have it spinning around. We can of course mess around with the light and everything, but you know all of that, right? Let's now click on texture on the second material and just spice it up a little bit. Let's add a adjust color and a RGB color shift, just as always. Throw everything in there, grab the camera texture and connect everything just like this. And now you can still not see it because I turned the second rectangle off. I'm attaching loop animation on hue and now I turn again the rectangle on and we can see the effect going on but I wanted a little bit more of a difference so you can see the final effect putting on alpha again change the color as you like and now let's go and do our trick to make it work together in alternate way so Select the first and the second rectangle and click on the visible. So we can now tell the visible to go on and off just as we want. Let's add a pulse and uh, let's try to patch it around. Maybe this is not the actual way. Let's figure it out together. I just forgot it. So that kind of work, but it restarts on a normal screen without the effect. So we don't want it. Let's try to, let's try to duplicate maybe those two. And uh, just wait a second with me and let's figure it out. So this looks kind of better. And if we now, so both turn on, goes on flip. Yeah, that, that was it. Yeah, they both go just like that. Pulse into flip loop animation into switch. You can change the duration and that's it. Now we go fast because you can add as many rectangles as you want, but then you have to experiment with the loop animation duration and how long one effect lasts visible and then turns off. So I'm adding a third rectangle real fast. So we can see three of those working together, but you actually made it. That's your effect and uh, treat it as you want. Give it cool effects, cool filters. I don't know, whatever you want.